6 a.m. flights are all fun and games until you have to leave your house at 2 o'clock to get to the airport in time. because it's, it's three degrees and it feels like minus two but we are bundled up and we are determined to go to the old city center Gamla Stan if I'm pronouncing that right if not I'm terribly sorry uh, yeah we're gonna go roam around take some pictures and then we're gonna actually head back because we've had like 40 minutes of sleep so <laughs> we're super tired and we really want to go and sleep we're staying at City Backpackers Hostel and I'm actually super excited because I'm working with them so expect to see some con content on that so yeah I will see you guys when we get to the old city center look how pretty it is oh my god and this is where we came from it is so beautiful yeah there's Simona repping love bra hello <laughs> Look at this street, oh my god, and like all the streets are so pretty, look at that. Everywhere you look, it's just beautiful, wow. Okay, we officially love the old city, right? Woo! Woo, we love it, it is so beautiful, it is so like aesthetically pleasing, it's just like all these tiny like little streets, like you feel like you're in another century, which is so insanely cool and we're really really happy we're here and we took bomb pictures like they are mm, prime bomb i really cannot get over these streets this is so beautiful oh my god look at that oh ah uh, this is really really pretty and i thought like we we're talking how we thought it was gonna look something like Amsterdam, but it's completely different in such a good way. Really, really beautiful. We found ducks. Ducks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> this is one like Swan Lake, but like Duck Lake, like frozen Duck Lake. <laughs> okay, we're trying to walk on ice. <laughs> Almost there. Woo! Look at the sunset. Oh my god. Wow. Really Okay, we have our shots for today. We watched the beautiful sunset over the old city and now we're gonna go pig out and get burgers. Um, we're going to this place called Max, which apparently is like a very popular um, Swedish burger place. I found it on like, I watched the vlog of Alfie's, like pointless vlogs, and he went there and he said it's actually really popular. So we were like, sounds like a good option. And I hear they have a halloumi burger. So we are now headed there. We're hungry. We're hungry. <laughs> We're in Max and we're deducting the menu because <laughs> we don't speak Swedish but we do speak some German so we're gonna figure it out somehow. <laughs> 15 minutes later we conquered the Swedish menu and we are waiting for an order. What's your opinion? Perfect. Perfect, yes. This is so good. This is a halloumi burger. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> so this is what our hostel looks like. We are in an eight bed dorm thing. So you just have bunk beds. I'm just here, Simona is just there. So yeah, it's pretty clean. It's like nice. The beds are actually surprisingly comfy, so. You can't beat the price though, you really can't, so for three days it's actually pretty decent. 
Hey guys, so I'm just popping in to say goodnight because I am going to be heading to bed really soon. We're just gonna edit some pictures from today and then honestly just crash because we haven't slept at all and we're beyond exhausted, beyond tired and we need some sleep to function for the rest of our trip. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. <laughs> Good morning! It is the second day, it's around 11 a.m. We had a sleep in because we were really tired and we had a little bit of a noisy situation in our room, but we got a decent amount of sleep. We had breakfast, I forgot to vlog, but it's fine, I'll do it tomorrow. And now we're heading to a bridge, which name I cannot pronounce for the life of me, even with my German speaking skills, I cannot pronounce it, so I will just show you when we get there. to our bridge and now we're heading off to see some museums we're definitely it's a little bit cold but we're definitely looking to go into the open museum with Skanska or something terrible Swedish names yeah we are gonna go to that and probably get in a museum that's actually indoors because it's cold and if we spend the whole day outside not a good idea look at that we came to this like island thing that we think is like a restaurant this, but it's closed so we just decided to come here and just take some pictures and admire the view it's really nice this is museum number one wow we're in the Vasa museum look at that ship that's massive wow oh my goodness and then there's more that way but this one's the main one and it's so well preserved and I think it's really old as well like a couple of hundred years old for sure uh, just look at that oh my god that detail and that's wood that's like wow that's insane oh and that's too close okay oh my goodness it's insane how well preserved this is it's snowing i mean it's not like snowing a lot compared to england right now but it is like some snow so we've bundled up and we were headed up to Skansen, the open air museum but it's actually really cold a and b it closes in like an hour and it's a big like park museum so we can't really do anything for an hour if that makes sense so now we're gonna go back we're gonna stop by a coffee shop have some coffee or tea or like hot chocolate and then we are going to head down to the southern part of Stockholm and just explore there maybe go to the other the photography museum do stuff like that but we'll figure it out as we go so yeah it's proper snowing now like proper proper snowing and we still haven't found shelter but that's next on the list an hour later after we spent so much time in a cafe to avoid the snow it's snowing again so now oh wait why is, oh okay we're taking oh, we're going to photographiska photographiska something like that um it's the contemporary photography museum which is yeah we were planning to do some more stuff for like outdoorsy so we're avoiding that um oops we're avoiding definitely outdoorsy stuff because it's really cold so we're gonna do that and then we might go shopping in Zodermal something like that i may be horribly mispronouncing everything i'm really sorry if anyone swedish or like capable of speaking swedish is watching this i'm really sorry for you also sorry that I'm looking down, but I'm going down these stairs and yeah So hopefully we're gonna go to that museum and then I have no idea where we'll be next Made it! We're now gonna go inside
Okay, photography museum, A++. Like, if you have the time, definitely pop over. It's not expensive, have student discount. They change their exhibitions all the time. But the three people that we saw today, they, I have like a little clip of them. So good, like insanely good. And a lot of photographs like I've already seen, so it was really nice like seeing them off screen. So yeah, definitely recommend if you have the time. And now, we're just gonna walk, explore the area, and head to dinner. Look at this. Wow. Let's do a little zoom in. You can see City Hall. You can see Ritter something that I can't pronounce. And the bridge. And now we're gonna actually go on the other side of the bridge to take pictures of these. And it's almost like sunset, so it's really, really, really beautiful. Another day, another beautiful sunset. Who said, like, I don't know who said that Scandinavia and Sweden is just dark. Like, we've seen some beautiful sunsets so far, so... This is all my childhood dreams. Like, my 90s kid, late 90 kid dreams oh my goodness this is every retro candy you could possibly ever want these were such a hidden like primary school bad decisions <laughs> we got like 250 grams of candy each mm. rate the candy what What are you having for dinner? <laughs> oh, tea, because it's so cold. And also look at our hostel. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna just stay here, eat our candy, drink our tea, and then edit some pictures. bobble because that's the only way you guys will know that I actually switched out my clothes because it's so cold today it's like minus two it's been it's the coldest it's been since we got here so yeah we're now almost at the open air museum today we have like enough time to go so uh, yeah we're gonna go explore there and then we're gonna head south and then tonight we're gonna hopefully drone if the like wind calms down a bit because it's currently it's a bit little bit too windy but it should be fine by like sunset so yeah i will see you at the museum in a little bit <laughs> this is so tiny and there's a red one as well so nice it's completely open and cold but yeah and then after this we're going to see the nordic animals we found a wolf. Can you see the wolf? There's two. Oh my god. <laughs> no, don't go. Come back. Hello. You're beautiful. What's that? That looks like a furry beaver thing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Come here. Come say hi. I got really excited because I thought I saw deer or like moose and then I like got closer and I realized that they're just ponies. Oh, and that like furry beaver thing is called a wolverine. Yeah, let's see. What else can we, what's down there? Exherad Farmstedt. Oktor Farmstedt? Okay, a lot of farmsteads, whatever that is. Um, okay, we're gonna continue exploring. It reminds me a little bit of like a national park we have in Bulgaria. Like not a national park, but like another open air museum. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, although if you're visiting in the winter, do keep in mind some of the things are closed because of the cold. So maybe it's gonna be better if some if people come in spring, but or like summer. Cause it is spring, it should be spring. But no, uh, yeah, so let's see if we can find any more animals. <laughs> I 
I found some relatives. That's me. <laughs> oh, they're feeding. Oh. If you ever want to know how to attract a 12 week old boar piglet's attention, this is how you do it. Wait. It kind of works. Kind of not. We kind of look ridiculous. Hello. Hello. I don't even know if that's an appropriate sound, but hello. hello. <laughs> nope. Okay. No worries. We found one moose. We see one moose's butt, but we can't figure out a sound to attract it. So we might not get a shot of that. Wait, let's try. Um. No. Nope. <laughs> No, that's too high pitched for a moose. A moose should be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. nope, the moose cannot be watered. Okay, let's. Guys, we're so high up. We have an amazing view. Oh goodness. It's really pretty, and it's actually really nice that it's empty. Like, I'm super happy that there's not a lot of people, so we kind of get the whole place for ourselves, really, which is always a plus. We're finally having Swedish meat. Oh. Yes, 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 and some tea because we're freezing. And our restaurant also is at like a viewpoint, so it's really, really pretty. Look at how cute these little huts are. They're so nice. You literally feel feel you're in a winter wonderland fairy tale slash thing. Like I feel it feels like Christmas, even though it's March, which is really weird. This is one of the few houses we actually found open. Okay guys, so we're now heading out. It's been a wonderful time. Highly recommend it if you have like a couple of hours to spare. Because when you like first enter, it can be a little bit like underwhelming because it's quite empty. But like as you go in, because it is a massive space, you get to explore more and it's so amazing. And like especially, I actually liked that it was so empty because it felt like we have the whole space to ourselves. So definitely if you come here, come to Skansen, it's next to like the Vasa Museum and like Nordic, Nord this, the Nordic Museum. So yeah, I would definitely come back in the spring and summer because I'm thinking more stuff's gonna be open, more animals, stuff like that, but then more people as well, so yeah. Uh, now we are going to head down to um, Södermalm where we were supposed to go yesterday, but we didn't because of the change of plans and the bad weather. So we're gonna head down there now and see what there is to do there. Interior design goals. Interior design goals. If you live in London, you know how Samba Sushi looks there. And this is the one in Stockholm. This is like a Swedish top shop. It's cold. Oh, it's sushi. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen anything more millennial in your life? It's her last day. We just had breakfast and we had the most extra photo shoot you can ever imagine because I need to have some pictures of the breakfast, like the lobby area, stuff like that. So <laughs> we literally moved a person in order to get our pictures, but it's all good. So now we are fixing our luggage situation <laughs> the vacuum bags are out uh yeah so we're gonna check out in a bit leave our baggage in the luggage room we're gonna just go around a little bit because we have like two or three hours um also fun fact we realized one of the girls in our room goes to my university and it was so funny uh yeah but we met so many people and it's been a great stay and yeah i will Definitely be coming back when it's warmer though because I froze. I love Sweden, but it's freezing. Uh, you guys really need a, like a heater 24-7. Uh, yeah So we are gonna get cracking on this because we have like half an hour and we have a lot to pack as you saw so Yes, I will see you a little while later Bye room Bye bunk bed <gasps> That looks like student accommodation <laughs> Oops. Let's. Woohoo. 
they gave us little chocolate checkout treats. So nice. Okay, we decided to spend our remaining two hours in the southern part and we're just like walking around. We're gonna go in some shops. We don't really have a lot of money left, so <laughs> buying is out of the option, especially this one. <laughs> she has like, I'm not even gonna say it, but it's less than a pound, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna just walk around for a bit and then we're gonna head back to the hostel and head to the airport because our flight leaves at 6 so we have like an hour and a half in good traffic to the airport so it is a long journey so we're gonna head there in a bit. Guys, we went into a supermarket because I'm researching smoothie packaging <laughs> so we specifically went in so I can take pictures and their research for my uni project. Okay, we made it to the bus station and we're now waiting for our bus because apparently we have like another 20 minutes so we got some food and we're just gonna have lunch and then we're heading down there and we're flying home.